Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And let's paint the scenario for you here in season seven. So we have made it to 10 and two at the end of the season and are playing in the conference championship for the second straight year versus Texas. But the road is tough to get to the national championship. We need Penn State to lose versus Illinois. And then the winner of Georgia LSU is definitely gonna be in that championship game. So Illinois, well, they're a Cinderella team and they're going up against Goliath here in Penn State, the number one scoring offense and the number one total defense. This is gonna be the hardest game they'll play all season. So the odds are likely not in their favor. And Penn State is led by Josh Adams, who is a really good quarterback, a senior, and Peter Wright at running back, 99 overall, and it averages seven yards per carry in back-to-back -back seasons. Brett Owens is the quarterback for Illinois. He's a junior. He actually had a pretty good year. He's a prototypical quarterback. I mean, he's a pocket passer. He's got decent throw power, but really good throw accuracy. And then Phillip Howell is their senior running back who's been working his way up. Look at this, a five-year senior, and he finally has his shot and runs over 1,000 yards the first year as a starter. So Kirk Herbstreit is going with Illinois in their pick, but early on, let's get to the highlights. Penn State is on the board first with the screen pass to Maurice Hill from Josh Adams, and Penn State comes out guns blazing. But later in the first quarter, on the next drive, here is Illinois back out onto the field, and look at this, Phillip Howell getting going. These two playmakers for them have to show up. Here's Owens with the fake. This time throwing down the field, he's got a man, and that's Chase Charles, his favorite target on the season. So third and four, here's a deep shot out of the back of the end zone, and Illinois is gonna have to settle for three points early. So now in a 10 to three game, here's Owens with the throw out to the flats, and look at the face mask as they get helped out on the penalty as Illinois is driving here in the second quarter. So now we move inside the 15 yard line. Owens running some read option, pitching it out to his man and Sean Jackson getting 13 yards inside the five. So first and goal, here is Owens on the keeper. He's getting in two yards out, touchdown. And Illinois ties this game up at 10 apiece. So now we move on to later in the second quarter, three minutes left. Here's a quick throw across the middle. Here is Owens finding Reggie Phillips for 13 yards. Now inside the 20, second and eight. Look at Owens running a read option to the left and he's gonna throw a stiff arm, Sean Jackson. Take another look, just giving him the business on that one. And they are now cooking inside the five yard line. Third and goal, Owens this time. Gonna avoid a sack and get rid of it for the touchdown. Jay Whitaker, three yards out and Illinois is up seven and they are in the driver's seat. But Penn State does drive before the end of the first half. Here's a throw on a third and five. Adams throws out to the flats and he's got Kevin Williams, but that's just an inaccurate throw. If that's on target, that's a touchdown. So now both teams in a stalemate going into the fourth quarter. Here is Josh Adams. Can he put together a fourth quarter drive here to tie this game up? Here's a deep shot down the right side and throw it into traffic. It is picked off by Illinois and they are gonna return this one back to the 20 yard line and Illinois is six minutes away from the upset. But they still do have to move the ball on this drive and move this clock. Here's a throw, Reggie Phillips, gain of 12 on the sideline. So they continue this drive. Here's Owens having himself a pretty good game up to this point, but then he throws an interception and that's picked off. And Penn State is gonna take back over with great field position as Adams comes back out onto the field and this high powered offense. So third and two, here's Adams, clean pocket, throw to the right side. He's got his tight end, another inaccurate throw and he loses one yard. So now they get it down to a fourth and three. Adams, he's gonna hand off to his fullback and he's gonna be stopped before the first down marker. Wow, what a stop by this Illinois defense. But Penn State still, still got three timeouts. So Illinois has to drive and get a couple of first downs to end this game. Here's a screen pass out to the left side on a third and eight and Phillip Howell's gonna get pushed out of bounds. So Penn State has yet another opportunity to tie this game up. 
Adams, throw across the middle. That's a gain of five. Joe Hartman on that catch. So now a third and five. This time, Adams from the shotgun. Good protection up front. He's getting rid of it to the right side. He had an open man across the middle. And now that brings it to a fourth and five. This one could end it. Adams from the shotgun. Here's some pressure from the right side. He's going down. And Illinois pulls off the upset in the Big Ten Championship. So this stirs things up for SJSU as now San Jose's door is wide open. And now all we have to do is beat Texas and maybe we will be in the national championship back to back years as Josh Adams just cannot seal the deal in the biggest game. So now this game means everything and it's all come down to this. The freshman quarterback, Joey Thompson, the five star quarterback who was really under recruited, the number one ranked quarterback and he wanted to come to San Jose. He took a chance and now he's here on the biggest stage with a chance to go to the national title game as a freshman. Along with two other five-star recruits, all three of them teamed up, Adam Prince and Andre Tremblay, who both have had pretty good freshman seasons as Marcus Daniels leads our team in picks, Elijah Taylor is behind him, Zamir Hines, and JoJo Forrest as well. Now, we are going up against a Texas team who is pretty good. 10-2, 7-1 in the Big 12 versus 8-0 in the Big 12. So here we go. Conference championship, Big 12 on the line, and a national championship as well. First play of the game, Elliot Rutledge runs the read option, and he gets stopped behind the line. And we all know the senior. He is a prototypical quarterback. He's a dual threat. He can run the ball and pass at any part of the field. I mean, this guy is just outstanding. And then they had, and then he has a favorite target in Carlos Hopkins, who is just a blazer, 97 speed. So third and 11, here is a deep shot down the field. Rutledge is gonna find New Well, and how do we let that happen? Marcus Daniels does give up a lot of big plays, but he also makes plays, so I expect him to make up for that one. Third and eight, Rutledge getting in a little bit of trouble. He breaks a sack and throws to the left side, and that's going to be incomplete as we get them to settle for the field goal. So here comes the freshman, Joey Thompson. This is the first time I am playing with him in a game, so this is going to be a little different for us. So let's see what the young kids got here on a second and one, rolling out to the right side, Joey Thompson. He's going to unload. He's got Tyree Jordan down the sideline, 31 yards, and a first down there for his first completion of the game. So first and 10, Joey Thompson throws out to the left side. He's got Denzel Knox out of the backfield for a gain of five. Second and five, this time Champagne in the slot, but he dumps it off to Denzel, who makes a move and gets 10 yards on that one, moving the chains pretty nicely on this first drive. So first and 10, here's a handoff to the left side. Denzel cuts up the middle and he's in for the touchdown. Pretty much untouched, and that's 11 yards out. And we drive down the field, and that was a good drive put together by the freshman. So here comes Texas back on the field. Rutledge running the read option, but he can't get away. That's a loss of four yards, and that's going to bring it to a third and seven. So from the shotgun, he's going to throw to the right side. It's going to be picked off. JoJo Forrest, the senior. He moved over from the slot last season. Remember, Andrew Jordan, both Josh Hemphill, both moved on. Andrew Jordan went to the draft. Josh Hemphill graduated, and JoJo Forrest assumed the top cornerback role, and he comes through with the big interception. So Sammy Baldwin starts out the next drive with the four-yard jet sweep, followed up by a third and sixth throw to the right side. That's Jordan Armstead, who is leading our team in catches, touchdowns, and yards by a landslide. So now it's second and eight. Here is Thompson, throw out to the right side. He's got Champagne Green, makes the man miss. He's inside the five-yard line. That is a gain of 11. So we do move the ball to the inch yard line. Actually on a fourth and goal. We give it to Knox and he's in. And we're gonna take that 14 to three lead here. This is a good start for San Jose. 
So now we're into the second quarter now. Here is Rutledge running the screen pass. This time trying That's to escape the pressure. He can't get away. Jordan Mann is credited with the tackle. James Jackson Jr. slowed him down. So third and 17, Rutledge. He's going to face some more pressure. He breaks a tackle and doesn't realize he's a past the line of scrimmage and gets tackled from behind. So they have to punt the ball away. So Champagne Green back to receive this punt. Moves to the left side. He's going to spin back to the right, and he makes a fantastic move. He's out to the races, and he's going to make two men miss. And that is a touchdown, probably the most explosive return we've ever seen from Champagne Green, and maybe even the signature play of this dynasty as we have a chance to go back to the national championship. And that's what playmakers do. They make plays when they have to. And Champagne gives us the 21 to three lead in the second quarter. So now we're back out on defense. Our defense is playing really well so far. Here's Elliot Rutledge scrambling up the middle. He's got a gain of 16, keeping his team in the game. So now first and 10, trips to the right side. Here's a draw play, this time to Graham, and he's getting stopped in the backfield. Look at our defense. That's the freshman, Adam Prince. So now second and 12, Rutledge. Four wide receivers out. He's going to scramble to the right side, and he's going to get stopped. And he's going to get stripped, and it's falling on by Haoli Managa, the senior now. Take another look. Zamir Hines is just poking at the ball. He punches it free, and Rutledge turns the ball over for the second time in this half. So now with a 21-3 lead, here is Joey Thompson rolling out to the right. He's going to throw back to Sammy. That's 11 yards and a first down. Nice catch. So now a first and 10 throw. Here's a drag route across the middle. That's Jordan Armstead, 13 yards. And this kid is just impressive. He's making all the throws. Joey Thompson, second and 10. He's lobbing to the right side. Wide open, Tyree, man. We never had this type of accuracy with Drayvon Jennings, with Josh Talevsky. This is insane. Not even Montel Aaron was this accurate. So now on the next play, here's a jet sweep to the left side, and that's actually a buck sweep, and that's a touchdown. Denzel Knox, 28 to three here in the first half. Here's a deep shot on the next drive. Texas trying one deep, but this defense is just too much. I kind of wish I would have played the whole season because the way they came out firing in this game, I don't know what our potential would have been if we were controlling this team. But on the next drive, here's a throw to the right side and we finally make our first mistake, facing some pressure that time and Cole is gonna pick it off for Texas. And now Texas takes over inside the 15 yard line. So now in a first and 10, Rutledge, he's gonna scramble and take it himself. He's getting inside the two yard line that is a gain of 11. So first and goal, Rutledge faces some pressure. He gets it out to the flats. That's Michael Fontaine for the two yard touchdown. And Texas at least makes it a three score game as we go into halftime and we're up a big margin, 28 to 10. So here we are to start the second half, and everything has been going our way in this one. Here's a quick throw across the middle. That's Sammy Baldwin breaking a tackle and getting to about the 50-yard line. First down for Sammy. So second and five. This time, Joey Thompson is going to move out to the left. He's facing a little bit of pressure there. He's going to throw on the run, and it's going to be caught downfield, Tyree. Wow, what a throw by the freshman. He is just making every single throw you have to make to win. So Denzel Knox on the next play, getting five yards up the middle, bringing it to a third and five, giving it right back to him. He's got an open lane. He's getting inside the three yard line. That is a gain of 11 for Denzel. So now three minutes left here in the third quarter, Joey Thompson rolling out to the right side. He's gonna throw across the middle and he's gonna have a man, Sammy in the end zone, six yards out. Five incompletions for the freshman. He is just putting on a show. So here's Texas on the next drive. Rutledge under pressure. Gotcha, He's going down. This defensive line is back to what it was three years ago with Andre Armstead and Terrence Miller. I think the freshmen are doing work here in this game. 
So here is Carlos Hopkins. He's finally getting involved, his number one target. He picks up a first down on a gain of 15. Throw to the left side on a first and 10. It's picked off. That's Elijah Taylor. There was Jabal Taylor. There was Jay Taylor. And we forget about the youngest brother, Elijah Taylor. He comes up with the interception here late in the game. And wow, this Taylor family has left their imprint on this San Jose State program. So now we're into the fourth quarter. Denzel, oh, just bully balling his way past the 50-yard line for a first down. Now a second and eight. This time, Thompson winds up, throws deep. He's got Sammy Baldwin again, 28 yards. This offense is just electric. Second and seven. Here's a quick throw across the middle. Denzel, eight yards, and we just keep moving the chains. So now a second and goal here. Three minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Thompson rolling out to the right. He's going to escape the defensive end. He's going to walk in. Touchdown. Ten yards out for the freshman. And wow, this kid is big time. I never thought that he would be this good. You know, I thought Tulevsky would be the starter hands down. But Thompson is just showing why he was the number one quarterback out of high school in this one was a route and we'll see if we do make it to the national championship because there is no guarantee remember lsu and georgia played in the sec championship so who knows if it was a close game the committee might just say hey we want another rematch they did actually do that in this franchise in season two i believe when alabama and georgia actually played an sec championship and then they ended up playing in the national championship so it could happen once again, but what a game by our defense. These three guys up front, the young guys, Adam, Fr Adam Prince, Andre Tremblay, and Jordan Mann, this might be one of the best defensive lines I've seen. Texas couldn't do anything that entire game, and Rutledge pretty much was shrunken into a normal quarterback. So we're just gonna advance here to see who we play next, and it's true. We move on to play Georgia in the national championship, the number eight offense in the number four defense as they went on to beat LSU in the SEC championship, 42 to 28. So I'm glad it wasn't too close because if it was closer, they may have granted LSU a bid. I don't know, but the way we just destroyed Texas definitely helped with the committee's decision and we're gonna have our hands full as they have a ton of playmakers both on offense and on defense. So we get our second chance at the Natty. Maybe we can right the ship this time and see if we come out with the victory. The one thing about this game is that Georgia does lead the NCAA in All-Americans. And look at this, Correy Edmonds was one of our recruits. It's funny to see our former recruits there that end up being All-Americans. That's pretty cool. He's an All-American first-team receiver for Utah. But like I said, Georgia did lead the NCAA in All-Americans, so this is going to be probably the toughest game of this series. And we are starting the new dynasty, so next episode, win or lose, will be the end of the San Jose State dynasty. So you don't want to miss that one. Hit subscribe, hit that like button. National championship number two. Hopefully we can seal the deal this time. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.